Hello, it's Brittany. I wanted to give you an update on what's going on with me. Uh, we did our remote collective pop-up Halloween month here in Chiang Mai and it's going amazing. We're having a lot of fun with everyone and with Mew, the home hotel owner and king, they are such a cool crew of people that we're partnering with. And it's really cool because the concept we're doing is like, they we take over a certain amount of floors for our co-living group and then they keep the rest of the hotel as booking for normal hotel people so they get revenue from both super fun but i want to give you some updates on what we're doing because i drove up here with a crew of friends and now um we're trying to figure out the best way to get down to the island and our original plan was to um andy brought up his motorbike so we were going to take like two weeks or longer and explore Thailand all the way back down. But what happened this weekend was um, he got dirt in his eye and or a pebble or a rock, we don't really know what it is. And we uh, were rushed to the emergency room because he couldn't see out of the eye. And we had, they had to, they figured out it was a detached retina. So basically like he was losing the vision in his eye and it was super serious so they put him into rushed him into our emergency surgery to reconnect the retina and he's such a trooper like he was so positive i did my best to keep up the spirit the high vibes hospitals really stress me out my dad had cancer when i was a kid so yeah it's been a lot of time in the hospital um but andy did great the surgery went really well took like an hour and a half and we spent the night there just for them to watch him and then I think the hard part that a lot of people don't realize is in order for they put a gap fill in his eye and in order for him to actually get his vision back um he has to lay like they have to have the so that the gas bubble can like push the retina back up I'm acting like I know how to explain this all I know is there's a gas bubble in his eye and in order for the nerves sort of stay attached for his eye to not lose his vision permanently he has to be bent over like this for 18 hours a day for two weeks so throw road trip out the window we're going to go pie we're going to meet like our chosen family on the way down and this epic adventure all of that is either on pause or we're shelving it for now and it's a lot of bonding time hanging out i'm reading him a book and we're just like planning world domination and all the future things that we're planning. Um, it's been really nice to slow down. And we have a doctor's appointment on Monday and then if everything goes well with the doctor's appointment, we're gonna go up to Chengdao on Tuesday for a week. And we invited Silka and some other friends up with us um, to just chill out and heal in nature. Where we're staying is like these beautiful bungalows overlooking a river on an organic vegetable farm. And it's a two minute scooter drive from these natural hot springs that are next to a river. So you can go like hot, cold, hot, cold. And it, they just got really good Wi Fi there. So it's like 200 megabytes down. So Andy's super excited. He's been d deep diving crypto master classes and getting back into trading. So yeah, it's been, I don't know, the lesson I'm learning is, I just realized that for me coming to the city, I lived in Chiang Mai for four years, since 2016, I've come here every winter, I'd be here for at least four months, if not eight, a year, um, used it as my home base, and then getting locked down in Koh Phangan, I became a very different person through breakup, scooter accident, dengue, depression after dengue, uh, definitely had my version of spiritual growth and enlightenment and whatever that means uh i'm just a different person i'm super happy and i love my life and super joyful every day and grateful and able to carry that positive energy through hopefully everything i do <laughs> um but it was weird for me i i got depressed when i first got here in chiang mai i was with all my friends showing them the city and like every day i needed to go take a nap and I didn't realize it, but it was my old self meeting my new self and them kind of colliding and figuring out who was going to win. Um, because I had old loops, old patterns, ex-boyfriends, everything in town. Uh, and it's been interesting navigating that. But with, what I realized is uh, taking time in nature, meditating, being in the water. I'm a Scorpio, so I love the water. 
and yeah, just giving myself the space to process it and realize that I have a really good support network, both down in Koh Phangan and here in Chiang Mai, and to actually reach out to people and tell them what's going on inside. I mean, I didn't really understand what was going on, so that was hard. But once I figured it out, like reaching out to people and really having that support network has been amazing, and I'm very grateful for it. It's very humbling because I'm, I realized I'm one of those people that I'm used to sharing things after everything's done. Like, oh yeah, yeah this crazy thing happened. I had this car accident, blah, 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 but it's fine. And like to share with people and reach out to friends like in the moment when I didn't actually have the answer, or like reaching out to really close family like chosen family that I have like while we're in the hospital room and we don't know if Andy's gonna see, like be able to see out of his eye it's super vulnerable um but uh, having people show up and respond and be there for you through all of it it's like allowing people to worry with you and to be there with you through the process is super bonding and it made me realize how much I'm loved and I'm really grateful for it so the plan is now we're here in Chiang Mai until Tuesday. We go up to Chengdao for maybe a week. And I would love to be back on the island for Christmas or by the end of the year because we have our amazing friends and family down there. Rim and Jen, we miss you so much. And Matt and Jim and everyone, everyone. I love all of you guys. Um, promise to be home for Christmas. But yeah, I think the plan is to take the train down. And Annie drove his motorbike up, but I think we can mail it. It's really weird. You can mail your scooter to Costa Movie for like 2,000 baht, which is like 60 US dollars. So, and then they have these overnight sleeper things where you get your own compartment and like your own little suite of, you know, your bed and everything. Uh, and take that down, have that, that adventure, because he can lay down flat while he's healing. So anyway, that's my update. Uh, I'm actually currently running an event upstairs. That's what's happening here. I'm at Draper Startup House, my best friend Lily's uh, co-living, co-working space, boss woman Lily Bruns. Uh, and we did a speed networking business uh, meetup today and everyone's still on the roof hanging out. So I'm excited to go back up there and join them. I was inspired to make this video because a lot of friends are reaching out and I'm not responding <laughs> because uh, I'm in kind of in the hospital and like dealing with a lot of stuff so this is what's going on for me i'm very grateful for life i love all of you guys go out and be brave in whatever way that means for you talk to you later bye <laughs>